Hello and welcome back to one of my art demos. Today I've got some, I've compiled some stuff I've got um, and thought I'd do a canvas, um, mixed media style. So I just happened to find these things separately and they all marry together, the colours all go really well. I got this so cheaply from the works the shop, um, a high street shop, and <clears throat> normally cardstock like this, in this size, 12 by 12 inches, is quite pricey, but this was only about 6 99 5 something like that, and for each sheet, it's um, <clears throat> you've got a pattern or a design on both sides, so that's that was a real bargain. And then in Hobbycraft, I came across these, which looked really cute, I thought I would have a go at trying to incorporate them into something and they just happen to match the colours in this cardstock. I also got some rub-ons which are from Kaisercraft. I got these online from a shop and some sort of velvety stickers. I've also got a stamp here which I might have a go at using. So then some paints I've got which will go with that is this turquoise by, uh, it's Crafters Acrylic Deco Art and um, this Scotch Bonnet paint acrylic spray that I made myself. Um, it's got cadmium red hue and a bit of cadmium yellow hue in it um, and a bit of liquefying medium and water. So I'll see if I can't use these together to come up with something. I had an idea of making some little houses. Uh, these pieces here, um, they've got some that are just the right sort of size for that. So for example, <laughs> bingo card. Uh, see these already are just about the right kind of size. Um, for houses, um, one in here, that one maybe, or another bingo one. Um, so I'll stick down some cardstock onto this canvas and speed it up, and then you can sit back and watch. some colour to that. I changed my mind from the turquoise because the sheets I chose didn't seem to have much turquoise in them but um, I went for um, the island blue in the end. So I've added a bit of acrylic white as well, titanium white and I'm going to leave this to dry and then carry on with the next stage.
before I forget that this little pack here is, I got it from Hobbycraft, it's um, Grace Taylor's Paper Die Cuts um, Emerald range from Grant Archival and um, it's very much along the lines of ephemera which is popular um, very much in America in scrapbooking and art journaling and although it's manufactured ephemera it's not genuinely little tokens and stuff collected from you know decades ago but um, the design is is it's really sweet all these little pieces they can be used for so many things so first of all just the right size for houses in this project but also um, you could take out bits um, that would be just the right size for a door and even this tag for example which says number five it's quite appropriate for houses because it could be house number five um, but just sifting through all these little bits they're really sweet um, gives you lots of different ideas really um, so yeah that's that's what those are um, so I'm going to uh, apply a bit more paint just playing with this um, for a bit maybe put some stamp marks down give it a bit of texture and stuff um, so yeah I'll shut up and carry on up a bit here, a green with some vivid lime green from Liquitex. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to wait for this to dry before going on to the next stage. In the meantime, anything I may have mentioned, these are washi tapes, um, Tim Holtz design. Um, and I covered over the top with um, some matte medium just to hold them down and also anything I do on top of it is going to um, take stamp a bit, it's a bit too busy. I'm going to go back in with a bit of um, paint just to cover it over, calm it down a bit. <laughs> dry and then I'm going to add some paint, uh, some pens, um, pit pens, just to give it some depth. <laughs> So 
now what I'll do is do a bit of rub-ons. Christy Tomlinson ones. This is all very much in the style of Christy Tomlinson's mixed media. Um, so I'll put in some of these and, and then I'm done. detail I'm going to try and find a word to put in here something like happy or um, happy or sweet sweet happy happy place hmm. <laughs> come in with some buttons to finish off, place them in the centre of each flower. Quite pretty though, and could even lay them out in the grass um, somehow. And uh, I'll just make out that there's more flowers going on. in the grass so um anyway i'm done now i might stick some of those down and hope it's inspired you to have a go too um check out the links below my video because this will go on my etsy shop and be on sale shortly so till next time take care and see you soon bye